Hello my little gems and welcome back to my channel. So before we get to the video, um, let's quickly do the old spill. If you haven't already, please subscribe, I really appreciate it. Please give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't already, um, please comment down below how you think I'm getting on with my spares project. I really do love seeing your comments and I do try to reply as much as I physically can. Sometimes, you know, life and this whole jubilee is just making work manic i'll tell you now so yeah let's just um so let's get cracking out so as you can see we are decorate start we'll start we'll carry on decorating our trays that we're going to be using to hang the beads on in the door frame and we'll be doing more of our beads as well so i have got a load ready to go and i will show you exactly how i string them up and everything and so yeah really really excited to keep carrying on with this i'm absolutely loving it it's very very fiddly but fingers crossed it's gonna look nice when it's finished okay so let's get cracking and yeah let's get cracking shall we So I thought I'd show you a bit of what I've been doing. I am currently decorating the tray. As you can see, this is how far I've gotten so far. I'm just doing this one here. Uh, I'm not quite sure what other like, patterns I'm gonna do on these, or should I just carry on like this type of pattern? But yeah, thoroughly in. I am enjoying doing this. Something completely different. You know, I've, out of the box, completely different. I thought I'd do this for a little bit, and then I'll get cracking. Either I'm making some more of my strings, or um, decorate some more pens, because um. I'm actually getting a little bit worried about how many pens I've got left. I've used about 60 so far. And I'm about halfway with the strings. So I'm thinking, am I going to run out? That is the question. Because, um, yeah, I... I think I may run out and I'm... If I do, I do. Um, I'll have to um, beg some. I'll beg. I'll oh, we'll go and see if my mum's got any left over. Like, got any. If not, I'll um, have to ask my friends in the group chats and say, has anybody got any pen spare? Because um, your girls ran out. So I'm using the old B7000 glue for this part. Absolutely love this glue. Fantastic stuff. And I'm just really just like eyeballing it. Here we go. This is 
see what if how well it sticks with So, uh, what have I been up to? Mainly work. Did everybody have a nice jubilee of those who um, celebrated it? Um, I made a quick appearance to the street party here. But, obviously, where I um, slept all day and everything, I didn't want to be up too early. And then when they were all getting, like, really drunk, I was like... Yeah, I think we're gonna go. So yeah, I was like, amazing appearance, that's the main thing. Showed willing, willingness, as they say. <laughs> Probably like, I work in retail and I'll tell you now, it was manic. Absolutely manic at work with so much delivery, it was crazy. So yeah, but we got there. Oh, lots of hard work though, it really was. So. Uh, um, I've had a delivery today from a somebody I brought a diamond painting from on a D stash group, so I am quite excited about that. As um, we um, I thought this has been one diamond painting I've had my eye on for quite a long time. You know, since I saw first saw it come out, and I'm excited to get it. So I've recorded an unboxing for that, especially as um, it was a pretty, it was a good price compared to if I bought it from the actual website. Um, it was about thirty pounds difference, so which is a lot of money. If I'd bought it from the actual website. So yeah, I've got myself a bit of a bargain there. Super pleased with it though. Really, really am pleased with it. What do you guys think? How do you think it's coming on? I think it's looking nice. Let's see a bit closer up. This, you can see me doing the next one. So yeah, really am pleased. So yeah, I'll get that unboxing video edited and everything else.
Right, so I'm all ready to start threading on my beads onto my, excuse the squeaky door. So all the beads are ready. I have 13 ready to go. As you can see, there's some pink pegs, pens stuck to the back of this. I just did it just to uh, make it a little bit stronger because it did feel a little bit flimsy. So I thought, right, I used cut some pink pens. I cut um, one off, one and a half at the end, and then did them at alternate. So then the, the the joins weren't meeting. So that way they make a bit stronger on the back because obviously you won't see the back anyway. So yeah, let's get cracking with threading these. strings of beads so I'm not going to um, hot glue the backs yet I just want to make sure I've got it right before I do that So put it through to where I roughly want. I'm going to carry on with this and then uh, show you the hot glue in the back, okay?
Right now, I'm on my lap, just so you know. Um, I'm just going to tidy up the backs of these slightly by a bit of hot glue and sit down that bit. Problem is about hot glue is it's extremely gets like stringing, and don't burn your fingers doing this. And now for the last thing is just cut off some of the string. And the bottom so it's not loads. Just hang in randomly. So, are we ready for the big reveal? Are we ready? Let's go. So, what do you think? I am so pleased with how it's come out. I'm thrilled with it. I'm so happy. It's come out how I thought in my head. Did not know if this was gonna work or not at all, but it's worked and I'm thrilled. I'm happy, I am excited that my little vision in my head has worked and it's come out how I thought and then like originally I was just going to tie it to like a long piece of round wood and I thought no I can do better than that so like I showed you I did the um trays at the top and they are holding up perfectly and it's coming out exactly how I envisioned that part too so yeah I am ecstatic so happy really love it and yet i am thrilled to see how exactly it's come out and then like when you walk through they will they make that clattering noise that some people love so yeah and with the spouts and everything it made the spaces perfect so you didn't have to sit there and make sure they were all measured out perfectly and like i showed like in the end i was originally measuring knots uh it wasn't quite working so in the end i was just doing it by eye i did one string and then i basically lined them up with each string basically so it is not perfectly in line but they are more or less in line uh, i am so happy it's come out this well i'm fantastic i'm so thrilled with it you know all different colors so we don't have many of each color this is perfect for you guys and yeah, um, there's a brand of one of my hairs in there. Don't ask how the hell they get in there, I'll tell you. But yeah, I am so thrilled with it. So happy. Absolutely love it. Excited that it's come out this brilliant. And yeah, I absolutely 
love it i'm so so happy so yeah so that is it for the the bead curtain spares idea i know it's taken and i know i haven't updated it every single week but i thought some weeks it looks like it's boring doing the same thing again and again and again so i didn't bother uploading spares i spared video that week because i just didn't want you guys to be bored of watching the same thing so yeah but here's the final it's done it looks great tell me tell me what you guys think i absolutely love it so yeah leave me a comment down below let me know share the video please Let's show people exactly what you could do with your spare trays pens and drills three things that we all end up with loads of so yeah so get sharing this video please show people exactly what you can do so look this is what you can do with your trays pens and wax when you have loads obviously um it'd be different it's like different at the top bit if you use different trays these trays is just slotted together perfectly for you know just keep it looking the same really so yeah so we needed 13 trays a whole lot of pens um uh, a lot of pens and to attach the tray to the ceiling or to the door frame i made two little holes in the corners of the top one of the end ones and then just nailed them on that's all i did to do that uh what else so yeah that's it really please give this video a big thumbs up if you like this um yeah tell people about it please because it's totally different totally out there and let's show the world what we can do with our spares because if you've got the guts to do it you could do anything with these like i was showing you guys time and time again on what we can do with our spares if we can and so far i think i'm up there with one of the best of what we can do with our spares because i don't really see people doing what i'm doing as much and this one is definitely definitely up there of one of my favorites totally different absolutely bonkers crazy and everything so give me a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and if you haven't please subscribe because if i can come up with this what else can i come up with because <laughs> this girl has got a brain and it does like to work at times so yeah thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all next time bye everyone